Obviously, in the current scenario, it's a massive game for us. Um, being where we are in the group and the opportunity that's arise now for us to really push on. Um, at almost say the midway stage, I think it's it's a it's a big game for us and one we're looking forward to. And and we're lucky, Touchwood, so far we've got everybody uh, more or less fit, so we're really looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, playing for your country is massive, you know. Um, it always is. It's the pinnacle of your career. So I think. Um, we really feel like that we've said all along in this campaign that we're trying to get a feel good factor throughout Wales and give them something to back and I think in the in the two home games they've done that um, and backed us and I think we're going to take a good fair few out there as well um, so we're just trying to yeah get a bit of hype around Welsh football again and if we can do that um, sort of get on the crest of a wave and get some results and maybe we can go somewhere I don't know listen you always start a game with the draw it's nil nil so that, there's your point at the end of the day so um if you go out there and you manage to defend properly, it's a team that's done really well in the group so far. Um, it will probably be a tough atmosphere, maybe tough conditions. So you start with the points, so the least you want to go away with is a point, I guess. Obviously. No, we're not worried. We're, we're excited about it. That's what you want. Um, that's why we play international football. We want these games to, to mean something. The, the, the atmosphere in Belgium was massive. Um, we managed to get a good result there, and it's something different for us. Yeah, it is. You know, it's... Uh, it's going to be a different type of atmosphere probably and I don't know what the weather's going to be like, etc. But I think it's something that we're all really, really looking forward to. And if, and if you want to progress in these campaigns, you have to go to these places and, and try and get something. Uh, on your own front, you've probably seen today Hugh Jenkins, the Swansea chairman, saying he'd like to look at your contract extending it. Is that good news for you? Or you... I didn't know that, so it's nice. Thank you for to break that to me. <laughs> just, found, just found out about it now. Um, no, I think, um, yeah, that's obviously... That's, that's something to, to be looked at at some point and I think um, the season's not far from, from the end now anyway really so it's probably something that will get looked at then. You mentioned the, the hype around Welsh football. Is, is that something you guys have spoken about and, and kind of consciously pursued or is that something that's evolved and, and you kind of want to jump on the back of it? I don't know, I think it's something the FAW and everyone have talked about is getting them, getting them people back in because we say every week Swansea's full, Cardiff is full um, but when it came to the Wales games we couldn't quite fill them you know and it was... It was, it was difficult for the boys because you want a full crowd. That's what pushes you on. You look at the games we played in Cyprus and Bosnia, the, the last push that we needed, last 20 minutes of the game, the crowd helped you. There's no, no two ways about it. So we needed to get them people back in. Um, and we'd done that. And we also knew that, listen, boys, if, if, if you don't get the results, they're not going to come. That's how football works. So um, we know that we, we had to give them something to shout about, something to want to come to get the kids back because um, we know the rugby is still quite dominant in South Wales and, and, and rightly so it's, it's, it's a big sport here but we need to bring football back to that era where maybe we were watching it and we were, we were playing in the millennium and selling it out you know uh, whether we'll get back to that I don't know that's a long way but we, we, we really want to get people back and back in Welsh football because it does help us on the pitch.